welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all well. Happy Friday. So today's video is going to be a Christmas bauble wreath tutorial. So all you need is a polystyrene ring. So this one is a 20 centimetre ring and I got this from the range, I'm pretty sure it was about 97 or 98 pence. Also need some glue sticks and I've got my trusted glue gun. I've then got some baubles. So I picked these up from B&M. They are called the Christmas Selection. You get 40 mini baubles in a pack um, and these are three pound. Um, so I just don't know how well you can see. That is the colours there. And I'm going to show you now. So this is just a little tip. This is just what I like to do. Obviously, everybody does their reefs a different way. And no way is the right way. You know, um, everybody's different. But this is just what I like to do. So I've left a couple of baubles. Um, this is how they come. Obviously, you've got your little string. And then you've got this little silver plastic topper. And all I do, I pull very gently they come off so easy and you're left with this tiny little top so you literally get your scissors pop it over if you can see and then you just snip and honestly like be careful when you're snipping because they do kind of fly all over the place you might and I'm left with all of my baubles so I have prepared all of my baubles already I've done all 80 so I'm not sure what size these are, they're just called mini baubles. Um, I also picked up these ones, these are from Powland and you get 18 in a pack. And also a good idea is to use some beads, but you could cut these and you're left with a tiny little bead. All you need to do is obviously get a bauble. And decide where you want it to be on the ring. On my polystyrene ring, there's actually a very faint line. Don't know if that is picking up on the camera. But there's a very delicate faint line all the way around. And I use that as um, like a, a, a base for my first set of baubles. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on. And then I'm going to attach the first bauble. So where the hole is, I've popped it on directly on top of the line, right in the centre. So that is the first bauble there. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on and attach a couple of baubles. And I'm just going to sort of choose at random so that they're all a little bit different so as you can see i've put three on and it is literally as simple as that going all the way around to do the first um the first set of baubles so i'm just going to work my way around adding like i say a few of the baubles but yeah i would say to anybody Give this a go, honestly, it is so easy. You've got nothing to lose. Um, and like I say, no way is the right way. So as you can see, that's literally took me, what, a couple of minutes? And already, you know, I'm almost halfway around. Okay, so like I say, I'm just kind of adding them all in no particular order, in no particular colour. Okay everyone, so I think I will um, continue with doing this and I'm going to drop the camera down just so that you can see um, the ring and I might speed this part up um, just to make the video a little bit quicker.
how it is looking. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to get a couple of baubles again and I'm just going to place them and see where I want them. So, you know, I'm not going to put them underneath, I'm going to kind of put it to the side, so in between the two baubles. So yeah, I will start the second row now. And you don't have to worry about the glue because once the glue is dry, it just kind of peels away. So as you can see, that is the second row coming along nicely. So again, I will finish this row and I will probably speed the video up for you just to obviously again to make it quicker, but you get what I mean. So you're literally just doing the same thing, um, you know, obviously popping your glue on, putting your bubbles on. Okay, so that is now the second row done, as you can see, and again, this size bauble just seems to work really, really well with this size ring, and um, I had no, you know, awkward gaps, they all just seem to fit perfect all the way around, and again, you know, I'm just going to get a bauble again, and I'm going to pop it again in between and do another layer. Okay everyone, so I just wanted to um, show you what it looks like. So this is after putting three layers of baubles on. Um, as you can see, you start to use less baubles as you get to the middle. And it's much quicker as well when you get to the middle. But I mean, it hasn't even taken me, what, half an hour? And um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. So again, I'm going to continue with... Um, one more this time I'm kind of going inside a bit if you can see that um, so kind of like that in between if you can see what I mean so yeah I'm gonna do that one and again I will be back finished my bauble wreath um, I have I did end up using quite a bit of the beads and I used them to kind of fill in the little spaces in between like there um, and yeah I'm really pleased with it so this is how it's looking and as you can see you know it's very filled just think it's so so pretty so this is my bauble wreath so yeah um, honestly like this was so easy to create so yeah I would definitely say you know try yourself to make a bauble wreath honestly I think you will be surprised at how easy it actually is and I'd say just go for it and have fun um, and thank you so much for watching so I'm going to finish the video here. 
um, and don't forget to hit that button down below it would really help me out subscribe to my channel I upload every week I don't have a set day but I do upload um, every week so yes I would love it if you wanted to stick around and you know subscribe to my channel don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and like the video and I will see you all again soon in the next one so take care everyone and enjoy the rest of your weekend and bye for now